Over 60 satellites sent into orbit by African countries float among tens of thousands of other craft. If we think back 40 to 50 years ago, it would cost on the order of billions of dollars to build and launch a satellite, usually the size of like a large bus. While nowadays you can build and launch a satellite for about 500,000. I mean, the size of the satellite these days is about the size of a Rubik's Cube, maybe lar uh, slightly larger. These spacecrafts make satellite, TV, telecommunications and navigation systems possible and are useful for weather forecasting, monitoring of the environment, sea routes and crops. You can get information about soil moisture. You can get information about um, um, pH levels in the crop, which allows then a farmer to know which parts of their farm need attention, which parts of the farm might need a certain uh, fertilizer, and to better uh, manage their, their farm to then get more productivity at the end of the day. South Africa, Egypt, Nigeria and Algeria have led the continent's space venture, but smaller countries are also waking up to the benefits. Countries like Mauritius, like Djibouti, Uganda, Zimbabwe, they recently, even Senegal, they recently launched their first satellite. Africa has so far invested around $5 billion in satellite projects, but most satellites are built and launched by Western countries. If you've got 20 billion worth of economic value, uh, you know, being created every year, uh, if you're able to, you know, keep a majority of that, that is going to catapult uh, economic growth and development in Africa. African countries are expected to send a further 70 satellites into orbit by 2030. The continent must, however, focus on developing manufacturing and launch facilities to cement its place in the space race. Chilishar Sijtian, Cape Town.